had the privilege of being able to go to an informational gathering about malaria at the World Vision headquarters early last spring. Malaria was eradicated in the United States 60 years ago. I didn't know much about malaria. Uh, honestly, I didn't realize the devastation it was still causing. And the thought of being a part of something that could be eradicated in a few years, being on the ground floor of that movement, uh, being a part of a, of a group of churches that would gather together, rally together and say, let's, let's completely get rid of this disease in the world, that's something I wanted to be a part of. Because I believe that it's a kingdom work. But then they began to explain how they would do it. That if they used insecticide treated bed, bed nets, that it could literally save the lives of people. All they simply had to do is sleep under these bed nets because these mosquitoes are literally a terror by night. They're afraid of them because if they get bit by mosquitoes, that's how malaria is carried. Uh, and for six dollars, a bed net could save two lives of children. But when I heard it, I felt so uh, inspired, uh, so urged in my spirit to do something about it that we decided we're just going to go for it. And I thought, if I could literally save lives of two children for six dollars, why wouldn't we do this? We only had five weeks to pull this off, and that was far shorter than anything we ever normally try to do on a scale like this. We had we really two goals. We want to inform the congregation of the disease and what it's doing in the world. And we wanted to raise some money and make an actual impact. We knew the impact would be small in this first year because it was a short amount of time and we had just heard about it. And we set a goal. We decided that we were going to go for one bed net per person in our church, which for us should be about 250 bed nets. We thought that would be a, both a, a goal that would be reachable, but would have some faith involved and vision involved. So we set a goal of 250 bed nets. That would save 500 kids' lives. We tried to involve everybody in our congregation. Uh, not only did we set up a, a, a bed net hanging in our sanctuary so people could have a visual to see what it is they would be purchasing, but we also involved the children. We also, on the bed net, we hung some cards. Cards of things that people buy on a daily or at least on a regular basis. Starbucks coffee, uh, go to the movies pair of shoes, uh, whatever it might be, a, a gallon of milk. And we equated the cost of that with how many lives could be saved if we just put that money aside uh, for malaria. Every Sunday we showed one of the videos from World Vision that they make available on their website. Well, it caught fire in our congregation. We took in enough money for 760 bed nets plus one Chuck E. Cheese token, uh, one child gave. And it, that, that one probably meant as much to me as all the money that came in was that one Chuck E. Cheese token, because some kid uh, gave what they had because they saw other kids in need. It's a worthy cause for us. It fits our mission to touch people, to make a kingdom difference, not only for eternity, but for today. And uh, so we were excited to be a part of it. We hope you'll consider being a part of it too.